It's inevitable. This door is wide open now. It's going to happen. Whether you like it or not. Yeah. This is the future, and it's now. Oh, there's another one there. Another dopey thing he said. This is the future, and it's now? Well, the future is not now. The future is the future, and now is now. That's two separate uh, oh, time point. periods. All right. John and Ken Show. John Cobell, Ken Shampoo, KFI AM 640. Well, we just got telling you, uh, just got done telling you that the Democrats appear to have uh, not just a supermajority for taxes. It's the two-thirds. They've got a three-quarters, which is, uh, I guess, called the mega majority. Well, I think so the they LA- can afford not to have some votes on things. I think the El Segundo Times just made that up. Oh, no, I bet you it's a political term because there's something beyond the supermajority. I've heard it before. That's not an L.A. Times term. So I imagine there's probably something in political talk when you take it even further. What happens when they have all the seats? <laughs> then <laughs> a world ending majority. Uh, they, th- this this is uh, really a, a dangerous thing because all they want to do is turn California into a total socialist Venezuela style state. Of so, course, uh, in Venezuela, people are fleeing by the hundreds of thousands because the economy and society there have collapsed, which is what you always get with socialism. Probably the first thing we're going to see, I don't know, they're going to come out of small directions. Uh, Assemblyman Joaquin Arambola, a Democrat from Fresno, he is going to go with his bill that's going to allow everybody in the state over the age of 19 to enroll in Medi-Cal. I say everybody because that means illegal immigrants, too. And again, you just have to qualify by income requirements. Nothing to do with your residency status. So price tag three billion a year. Three billion. Three billion. Three billion. That that's sixty percent of what they raise just for the uh, on on the car tax and the gas tax. Three billion dollars a year. So people who burst into the country illegally, we can now pay for all their health care problems. And. You wonder why a lot of people want to get a wall? Because over time, this is what happens. A few years ago, they got driver's licenses. Now the roads are more congested than is imaginable. Was Five years ago, you couldn't imagine the congestion we have now. A lot of that's from an extra 2 million cars on the road. What do you think is going to happen? No one's taking the train anymore. No one's taking the bus. Now we're going to give them free health care. Ay, ay, ay. Well, Recently, that, that, though, and who knows, because I'm telling you, it's going to be hard to pin this guy down on anything. Gavin Newsom told Politico, that's an inside politics website, that he doesn't expect to take the step towards covering all undocumented immigrants immediately. Quote, there will not be that money. I don't expect there to be that money. It would be fiscally irresponsible to spend $3 billion until we assess the budget and taking away rainy day reserve when we should be adding to it. Now, does does like, it matter? This is a guy, though, that I think just moves left and right all the time. But it's, does it even matter what he says? Because they have a 75% majority now. If he has to sign the bill. He can, they can override they a veto. They can override his veto. I guess they could, yeah, if it comes to that. These fanatics? Why wouldn't they? I would. If I had that kind of power and I was fanatical about something, it's like, we don't need, we don't need the governor. He's an, uh, he's an appendage. He's, uh, it's not necessary to the system anymore. I guess you're right. So, Arambola says that it should be a right. Health care uh, is not a right. Roughly 60% of the remaining 3 million uninsured Californians are believed to be undocumented immigrants. Health care is something you should be required to earn because it's so expensive and because people act so irresponsibi- irresponsibly in their health decisions and in their lifestyle decisions. There has to be some kind of check on that. If you give people unlimited health care and, you, uh, and there isn't any restrictions on how they live their life, forcing them to work puts some restrictions on how they're going to live. I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm just shocked at this, the idea that everything's right. No, you earn these things. I didn't know a single person growing up who thought health care was their right. I knew all the moms and dads were worried that if they didn't keep their jobs, they'd lose their health care. And that's what kept them making all the right decisions for their family, is the fear of losing their health care, fear, fear of losing their benefits. Jerry Brown didn't want to do this because that's a big commitment. California's expected to have about a $15, $15 billion surplus next fiscal year. But according to the Legislative Analyst Office, 
It can only increase the permanent budget by about $3 billion before you risk eventual deficits. And I wouldn't even do that, although they increase the budget every single year, and they act like they're fiscally well, prudent. Well, with the, with the tech, spot, tech uh, stocks taking such a big dump the last few months, is that going to affect the revenue for next year? Like Facebook's down about a third. Well, it's for the complete tax year, though. Is it down the entire year? Since the beginning of the year, it's down over 30%. But that's not all the stocks. I, no, I no, no, no. But a lot, a lot of the people, uh, you know, in, in Silicon Valley, they cash in their, their company stock. Well, last time I looked, and it's a couple of months ago, they were still cashing in. There's plenty of money coming in. I know. Well, I just, if, if, if the tech stocks were going up and that provided a lot of our uh, tax revenue, they're going down now. So it's going to have an effect, probably a delayed effect. Yeah, I guess so. But I think the, the, the biggest impact will be when we really hit the next big economic downturn and how that affects everything. All right, we got more coming up.